So it's 1.52 p.m. on our rest day, and we're just now getting to doing something, which is fine. That's why you call it a rest day. There's Liam on the bench that grows cool through the, in the tree holes. Right next to this very quaint little creek. And we're going to go check out the Police Meadows cabin. It's supposed to be closed due to COVID-19. But uh, who knows, maybe they forgot to lock it or something, and we could potentially move there for this evening's accommodation. If it looks nice, we'll go have a see. See if it's worth it. See if it's even open. And uh, yeah, that's today's little trip. Is a little like 4K day hike thing. We had a slow morning, which is no problem. Stayed up late last night playing video games. Yeah. Bloons TD5, Bit Life, stuff like that. So pretty good. Everyone else left camp. Uh, and we're just chilling here. So yeah, we're going to get on our way to the cabin in the police meadows. Here we are. We made it to the police meadows cabin. Show them the meadows first. It's very pretty out here. Yeah, quite nice. Super tall grass. That's Citadel Pass that we came down from yesterday. Yeah. So we could have seen this if we were looking, but we weren't. Anyways, big, pretty meadow, really tall grass. Yeah. You arrive at this cabin. There's some other infrastructure I'll show you. There's an outhouse right there. Yeah. There's bear walkers in there. Well, and then there's like horse thingies. And there's a second. And then there's one. a second one, which seems to be like a supply maintenance type shed. It seems like it was the original one or something. Yeah. Like that. All right, so we're gonna head in. We get a pile of wood in front. Ladder for there for some reason. Probably snow removal. It says right here, Mount Assiniboine. Welcome to the Police Meadows cabin. Closed September 20 through November. For further information, contact them. Now it's closed for COVID-19, but they didn't lock the door, so who cares? And here we are. Welcome to your humble wilderness abode. In the center we have a nice picnic table type thing with a red and white checkered cloth table, cloth thing. There's six bunk beds with some slightly nasty foam pads on them. This one especially has many holes in it. Um, so maybe, maybe ditch those you're gonna sleep here? I don't know, they look a little disgusting. It's really heavy. And there's these like metal military office things. It's really heavy. Uh, locked. We were curious what's in them, but don't think we'll get to find out unless we have boat cutters. Um, so over here on the right, when you come in the door there, just all sorts of crap. Kindling, buckets, nails, bits of rope and things. Then over here we have our cooking area few elements there, wood burning stove, oven, all powered by the one fire that you get in there. Pretty cool. Uh, clothesline setup that somebody's built with sticks. Actually looks pretty sturdy. Uh, collection of pots and pans, aluminum foil, some wood here, keep you warm for a couple days. A bunch of like magazines and stuff. Maybe that's for starting the fire. That's a hunting one. Yeah, a lot of hunting seems to happen in this cabin, even though hunters aren't supposed to use it in the fall, they do. Doesn't really matter though. Yeah, cups, 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 clothes hangers. Nice little skylight that actually really brightens it up in here. It works very well. Um, and yeah, well, there's a bit of taxidermy on the wall. Lots those of little notes. For big horn people. sheep horns, I guess. 2002. And then, I think that's from a caribou. Is that a caribou? Could be wrong. It could be a moose or a caribou. Probably a caribou. I don't think. I think moose would be bigger. Right? Yeah, I think so. It's probably a caribou. And then you get all these people signing their names. The earliest one we found was 1977. I think. That was in the other cabin, though. Oh yeah, true. In here, it's like 95, 95. 98. I got 93 here. I got 82. 82, damn. Okay, so maybe they were built like pretty close together then or at the yeah. same time. But yeah, it's a decent place if you're willing to live in a lot of dirt. This guy went sheep hunting for eight days in October 82. Pete Davidson, current book, Bruce, BC. Nice. Yeah, so we actually found there's a book here. If you don't want to write your stuff on the wall, there's a book. And we went to the most recent entry in it. And it turns out it's someone doing the exact same route as us, just going the other way. Where is it? And that was on the 12th, so... Two days eight, ago. Eight, two days? Yeah, look. Wednesday, August 12th, 
from Kananaskis Lakes to Field. That's exactly what we're doing. Just the other way. Perfect halfway point. Not being squashed into the tent. That was what we thought, too. But we arrived at Porcupine last night. Didn't want to come here. It's an extra, like, two kilometers. Mm -hmm. And we could move our stuff here now tonight. But I don't know if it's really worth tearing down camp, hiking here. Then we would add an extra kilometer and a half to tomorrow's distance, which is already 19. So, yeah. Yeah. Not really worth it. It's still kind of cool to find it. And apparently there's like, I think, two or three more cabins like this in uh, Assiniboine, in Assiniboine Park. So go look for those. I think one's called like the Simpson River, something like that. Surprise Creek. I don't know exactly. But they're closed, so don't. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we've had a nice lazy rest day. So maybe we'll sit at the table here and have a little snack. And a drink. Play some cribbage. Oh yeah, we could play some golf. Golf. Yeah. Alrighty. We'll hit you back on the flippity flop.